Another hard fought effort. Daniel, thoughts on the game? Um, a little bit disappointing. I think um, we had them under the pump for most of the game, especially in the second half, and I think we deserve the three points. In the second half, you definitely started to control the game more, create more chances. Thoughts on why that was? Um, I think the boys were a little bit more brave coming out into the second half, taking more risks and playing more attacking football, and I think it paid off. In the first half, Mila Yedinek scored the penalty, another penalty, but he's very consistent at scoring those penalties. How much confidence is that still as a, as a captain to the team? Yeah, you know, um, anyone who's been around the team knows that Mila is he's a leader, you know. He's like the commander of the team, and when he speaks, everyone listens, and seeing him be, go out there and just do his thing, and, you know, like... When we, when we have a pen, we know we're going to score because he's just so consistent with them and it gives the team confidence. How happy were, were you with your own performance? Um, you know, I was really happy to get out there. Um, I think one of the chances out there I could have put away if I hit it on the ground, but, um, you know, just learn for next time. In terms of next time, what can you take from this game into the last game against Peru? Well, I think given the, the, our positioning on the table now, we have to go all that. We have to go for a win and, um, you know, I think... We have to be brave from the beginning like we were in the second half and take control of the game. How disappointing was it to see Andrew Naboot uh, pick up an injury? Very disappointing. You know, he's our starting nine. Um, he's uh, very important for the team in the way we set up. And, um, you know, really sad for him as well. You know, it's his last game of the tournament. It's a dream for him to play at a World Cup. But, um, you know, but the boys have to look forward to the next game.